I'm Deborah Romice Cloninger and I've been a member of St. John's since October 1943. The big parsonage there had been used as a rooming house. It's a big five bedroom house, two story with a full basement, one bathroom. We were the only house on the block. We did not go to school in the neighborhood. We had free run of the church except for the chancel. We were, we were not allowed to play near the altar pretty much anywhere in the church was okay. That was our playground. I had my tetherball pole uh, where the elevator stands right now. And I would wait there on Saturdays for confirmation to get out so I could beat all those boys in the confirmation class on my home field. Our backyard was where um, all the Sunday school rooms are now and the courtyard where coffee is served. But we could climb up a little part of the fence and be on the stairs going up to the office. And we would just go in and visit Dad and, you know, play at his desk. He was, he was very patient and so was Beverly. When the remodel uh, of 1989 happened, um, I was, I guess, about six, uh, there was a lot of scaffolding inside the church. And I remember Dad letting my sister Chris and me up on the scaffolding to walk along those boards. He would have been in so much trouble if my mother had known that. Sister Mikey talks about on Saturday after the organist, Bert Norlin, would come and practice uh, for Sunday and set all the stops on the organ, she would go over and readjust the stops. I think maybe I was the first female acolyte St. John's ever had. Girls were never allowed to do anything like carrying the cross, lighting the candles. One Saturday when there was a wedding, the acolyte didn't show up and I had very short hair so probably I could have been mistaken for a boy. And he said, Debbie get over there, I need you to light the candles for this wedding. Well, I was very nervous because I'd never done that. And um, I lit the candles just like he told me, like opening a book from the inside out and then close it from the outside in when you put them out. Well, I sang in the choir for oh, probably 20 years until my, until my hearing started to go. I loved singing in the choir. My feelings about St. John's are separate from my faith, uh, separate from my, um, my religious life, uh, as it were because St. John's is my home. It's where I grew up. It's probably more of a home to me than any house I ever lived in.